Hello everyone, Dr. Dale here with another lovely patient of mine, Brittany. Uh, excited about this one, we got another, it's called testimony time or we've got a praise report, right? In 2009, I started having extremely bad seizures. I got diagnosed with epilepsy um, and a friend of mine, John, mm -hmm. he thought Friend that, of mine too, now. Yes. That guy is awesome. Yes. John, you're an awesome man. Yes, I do. <laughs> I love his family. Um, How do you know John? I know him from church, okay. and him and my dad are the best of friends. They awesome. are extremely close, um, and I'm extremely close with his wife. Awesome. Um, well, he thought that it would be smart for me to come just to try it out, yeah. um, see what would happen. In 2009, when I started having the seizures, it was getting worse and worse, and all I got was med meds thrown yeah. at me. Um, oh, so 250 milligrams didn't help, let me give you 500 milligrams. Oh, that doesn't help, let me give you 900 milligrams. Um, and when I started coming here, it seemed like my seizures were getting better. Yeah. Now, I still have them on rare occasions. Um, but, like, think about that. I mean, like, let's clarify for the audience out there. If you're dealing with seizures, you know, um, chiropractic and specific alignments of the spine, and not just general mobilization, but real specific adjustments can have an effect on seizures. And when you're having an effect, a positive effect, you saw less seizures, um, less severity of seizures. Those are things that both you and your husband were noting. Um, but but tell them beforehand, you know, because yeah, we they're not 100% gone. Correct. But um, what was happening just when you're just simply taking medications? Was there any improvement really? Not really. Um, I would go into my neurologist, and it just seemed like they just kept on going up and up with my meds. Yeah. Um, I had. Well, when you're trying to fix the TV with a hammer, and that's the only tool in your toolbox, just hit the TV a little bit harder each time, right? Right, but it didn't help anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... Well, it's true, though. Yeah. It, I mean, that's exactly how it was. And, I mean, I went from neurologist to neurologist to neurologist. I just wanted somebody to tell yeah. me what I could do besides take all of these meds. Yeah. So you've been able to come off of one medication so far mm -hmm. in Keppra. Was there any increase in seizures when you came off that medications or anything like that? Mm, not really. No. Um, I, I still had seizures yeah. because, I mean, my seizures have went down drastically mm -hmm. um, from having them like every day. Yeah. yeah, I remember like putting the notes like, yep, had a seizure yesterday, yep, yep. And then all of a sudden it was like, you know, within just a couple weeks really, we started to see a few more days in between each seizure and episode. And then I remember your husband saying that it was not as severe or they were shorter amounts of time. Right. Um, I went from having them, they would last about a minute and 30 seconds to around about 40 seconds. And so that was really good, especially when I have two younger children at home. Yeah. And so when I have a seizure, they don't understand what's going yeah. on. Oh, mommy is not listening to me. Um, and so the fact that they went down whenever I would have them, it really helps. Result in less fear in the children and, and confusion right. for them, maybe. So overall, you've seen three neurologists. You've taken a lot of different medications. Mm -hmm. um, you've come off one medication since coming here. Sum it up real simple. Out of seeing three neurologists and trying a ton of medications and going to them versus coming here in my office and what we did, where did you benefit the most? Where did you see the most improvements? Here. Okay. When I started having seizures, I would wet the bed. Wow. Really, really bad. Okay. And I mean, my husband... So you'd lose control of your back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my husband would, I mean, he would stay right next to me, yeah. which is great. But after coming here for, I think it was like after a month or so, I didn't wet the bed anymore. Really? And mm -hmm. you still continue to, even when you have seizures? You when know? I have seizures, I lose control okay. of my body. So, okay. yes. Sometimes I will wet the bed. But as far as wetting the bed, like you, you saw that you didn't do that as often, or you well, I do don't, I don't do it unless I have a seizure. Okay. And, and before, before you were, I was every night, and I would talk oh, wow. to my neurologist, and he'd say, "Here, here's a med." Okay, I understand now. So you would 
lose control of your bowels when you're asleep, but it, nothing worked, no meds worked, right? Mm -mm. Start getting adjusted, no more wetting the bed. Right. Unless you had a full blown seizure. Right. Okay. Awesome. If you're here in Montgomery County. Okay. Come to Marathon Chiropractic. Come to Dr. Dale, right? Because I know I know yeah. how it works. I know yeah, the results. So yeah. it's all about the result. Yeah. I like people's testimonies. This is why we bring you testimony time. Uh, it's an opportunity to show people, you know, uh, the praise report, how our body can heal how we can be well, and what we hope for is to give people hope out there. Right. So, thank you, Brittany. Thank, thank you very you. much.